we're talking wands. Uh, I love Harry Potter. I love uh, the fact that I can make a very noticeable, distinct uh, prop for my costume for as little as a couple of pounds. I like all sorts of uh, science fi fiction and fantasy um, to build a lightsaber from for a Jedi or a Sith Lord uh, and uh, a phaser from Star Trek you have to spend a few pounds and you have to be quite competent I think in either metalwork or using a drill and being able to uh, know electronics this takes no electronical knowledge and it takes a very very small amount of I think uh, skill and you can achieve quite a nice effect but why will I why do I want to talk about wands well um, I have three types of wands that I wanted to show you today uh, from the cheapest that I've got into the most expensive um, these two I have made out of materials such as these types of knitting needle, hoping that's in full shot, and Commodore Garden wooden chopstick. Um, there are so many YouTube videos on there teaching you uh, how to make ones with hot glue and string and paint that um, I won't even begin to do that. Uh, what I do want to do is just kind of review what I've made against what I've been able to purchase. The next ones that I have is uh, one that I bought, purchased from eBay, which was free post from China. It comes in this type of standard box. Uh, it's all, they all seem to say Deathly Hallows. Got some made in China, serial markings. Um, this particular wand was uh, about four pounds with free postage. Uh, it's for my son's Harry Potter cosplay and um, I don't know if you can see it's made of a resin. It's uh, quite nice. It's not quite brown enough. There's almost a kind of a, a purple tinge to it but I don't know. Uh, there it is. I don't know if it'll, you can see but uh, it caught on his robe and snapped um, and <laughs> remarkably with a piece of super glue it um, bonded in seconds and uh, repaired, so I mean, it was all as, as if by magic. I like the one so much it spurred me on to buy, to get a second one. So now this is uh, Snape's wand. Uh, it is, they're roughly the same length. This one is longer than the one I've made. And it's considerably heavier. It weighs probably about three times as much as this wand, um, but it's one that I took to uh, a convention in October and I was very happy with it. Uh, I dropped it a couple of times and um, it's, uh, uh, and I was happy to hand it around if I, I met a, a wizard or um, a witch that didn't have a wand for a, uh, for a, a photo. So uh, that, um, I think this was about five pounds with free postage. Um, but I'm very happy with that one. This takes me to a birthday treat. You can already tell the difference in quality in the box. Um, I love the, the velvet foam handling. This is my Professor Snape Noble Collection wand. The uh, box, as you can tell, has some more detail, very plain markings. Um, this wand is a, honestly, is a treat to hold. The Noble Collection wands retail at about anywhere between 20, 20, I think I've seen 26, 25 pounds to 30 pounds. The only telltale mark that it is um, a prop you can see is the writing there which when holding uh, it's so small it never 
never comes out. As a display wand, it is amazing. I unfortunately am not allowed to display my wands. They are, even though they're smaller than lightsabers, uh, they still can't come out of the box. So um, this I haven't taken to a convention. It is longer. It's shorter than the eBay purchase one, and it is lighter. It feels lovely to hold, and as you can probably tell, it is more screen correct. The detail goes all the way around on the eBay purchase one, and this one has been halved. I would say, depending on your budget, you buy the wand for you. These I make, or I've made with very, following very simple tutorials on YouTube for um, about a pound fifty each. I've taken this to cons, people have asked me where I've got it from. Um, I've tried to make the flattened detailed edge there. Uh, a simple wood file took care of some of the ridges. This is just hot glue on the sides and there and brown acrylic paint onto a trimmed down knitting needle that I did do some whittling but um, I wanted to give it that look more of a, a wand and a bit more um, texture to the to it. This uh, my son is very pleased with so if you do want to make um, a present for a young witch or wizard I definitely recommend this route. If you want to uh, go down this route again they are very they are, I think they are very nice ones. Um, these ones came to our Comic Con in October and they did so well, they did very well. And this one unfortunately will stay in the box. Um, it has, even though I've not very hand handled it much, it did chip a little bit but um, because I'm getting used to fixing things or tweaking things, um, a, a little black, a, a sharpie black marker pen, and I can't even see where I fixed it. That's how nice it was to fix. So I'm going to put this away before I drop it or or I get too attached to it again. Um, I hope this has given you uh, an idea of if you're looking to purchase a wand. Uh, and you're wondering, should I spend £30 on a wand? No, you shouldn't, but do you want a lovely wand that um, you will cherish and looks amazing? Yes, you should. Um, absolutely, ask for it as a present. Um, if in the meantime you want something as a prop to display or for your cosplay, I recommend these ones. Um, I don't mind people holding on to them. See, they tried to emulate the noble one, which I still think it stands out. Well, I've got no complaints, but for for the more most fun, making your own, so, uh, looking sourcing pictures, watching some tutorials. In fact, I will put a link to uh, the pins and things a tutorial that I used uh, in the comments, and I will also. Um, no, you don't need to, any links for nobles or these sorts of things because that's half the fun, just trying to source it for, your, for I think, for yourself. That's the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions, please add them into the comments. If uh, you've enjoyed this video or if it's helped you make up your mind about uh, what you should, what you'd like to try, um, please write them in. Please like or subscribe, not share. That's Facebook. I'm pretty new to this. All I can say is I've enjoyed making these, I've enjoyed receiving these in the post and taking them to cons and I cherish this uh, dearly, uh, which is strange really for, a, uh, for something so small, but uh, there you go, um, enjoy and I think I need to find a way of saying goodbye to uh, at the end of the video which I'm going to have to think about now. So I couldn't find an end to my one video, but I just wanted to share this with you, a another build that I'm doing uh, for Harry Potter, it's for my son's birthday. Uh, there'll be a 
bigger detailed video uploaded shortly explaining where some of the things I've uh, managed to find to build this Harry Potter have come from and share the templates from other amazing Harry Potter prop makers and um, enthusiasts uh, but I just wanted to show you this and say uh, have a good day and uh, I look forward to showing you some videos soon.